Hey guys, how is it going? I'm sure that most of you have already heard about Cypress and Tescafe as the non-Selenium end-to-end automation frameworks become more and more popular in the industry. In the last few years I have been using both of them, so today we will be comparing them. Cypress is a front-end automating testing application created for the modern web that promises better, faster and more reliable testing for anything that runs in a browser. Cypress works on any front-end framework or website. My feeling is that people use Cypress as a replacement for Protractor as well. Tescafe is a Node.js tool to automate end-to-end -end web testing. It's a pure Node.js end-to-end solution for testing web applications. First of all, there are some benefits that both frameworks provide. They use JavaScript or TypeScript language. We no longer need a Selenium server or web drivers in order to interact with the browser. They can handle both modern and old web architecture applications. Tescafe and Cypress are nothing but NPM dependencies, hence the setup to get it started with is really simple. They can be integrated with other NPM dependencies for custom selectors like React or Angular, hence you can identify a web element not only by its CSS selector, but using its React, Angular or other framework framework specific properties. The network interceptors are available on both frameworks. With this feature, we can listen, assert and mock all the HTTP requests sent by the application under test. The popular page object model design pattern can be applied on both frameworks. They come with a retry mechanism, which means that whenever a test fails, it gets automatically re-executed for a number of times or until it passes. They are compatible with popular CI-CD tools like Jenkins, GitHub Actions, GitLab CI, etc. They can run tests in mobile resolution by resizing the window. They are compatible with visual testing libraries like Percy or Apply Tools. They are open source and have an inbuilt mechanism of waiting for web elements to appear in the page so the test can interact with them. They come out of the box with screenshots of the web page when a test fails and also with video recording of the test execution. By default, we need to use CSS selectors. There are some other common features like file upload, cross-browser testing or browser stack support. They have an amazing documentation. While debugging, they have live restart tests. In this manner, Tescafe provides live mode feature that we need to enable. On the other hand, Cypress comes by default with this feature enabled called watch mode present in the test runner. Last but not least, they can store execution results as web-based dashboard pages in cloud. I have implemented both solutions for the QA practice website, hence we can see some real examples. Let's get started with Tescafe dashboard. All these test executions have been triggered automatically from CICD on a weekly basis using a cron. We have the total execution time, number of tests, the branch and the person who triggered it. Let's click on execution to get more details. We have a nice view of test scenarios grouped by test suits. Each test displays a list of steps. This feature is currently in alpha testing program for Tescafe, not officially released. However, you can join it as well to try out this feature. Great, it's time for Cypress dashboard. In here, we also have a list of test executions triggered by CICD. This Cypress dashboard provides more statistics.
Let's click a test execution to get more details. It goes without saying that this Cypress dashboard is much more complex. Moving on, let's continue with framework specific pros and cons. Tescafe runs the tests in a Node.js proxy server and Cypress runs the test in the real browser. It means that Cypress tests have access to the real document object model elements but in Test Cafe, the communication between the tests and the document object model elements must be serialized. Since Test Cafe tests run in Node, you can call out to parts of your Node server application directly from the tests. It becomes handy when we are setting up and clearing database fixtures or even starting and stopping the test server. In Cypress, we are limited to communicating with our application via HTTP or executing CLI commands. Another thing is that Tescafe uses standard CSS selectors to locate elements, but Cypress uses jQuery selectors that bring some extra capabilities. Despite Cypress, Tescafe can run tests in Safari browser. It might be an important aspect on your project to think about. Currently, Cypress supports Chrome, Chromium, Edge, Electron, and Firefox browsers. On the other hand, Tescafe supports Chrome, Chromium, Internet Explorer, Edge, Firefox, Opera, and Safari. Tescafe has an amazing use role feature that helps us handle multiple user roles and also bypassing the login flow, sparing important execution time. Running tests in parallel is so easy with Tescafe just by adding hyphen C with the desired number of parallel threads in the CLI running tests commands. If it comes to handling iframes, then Tescafe is the winner. With some workarounds, you can automate iframes in Cypress as well, but with limited support. Tescafe has also a paid record and play studio feature. In terms of the community and support, Cypress is the winner. Analyzing the number of NPM weekly downloads as we speak, we notice that Cypress is like 16 times more used. The Angular team made a survey a year ago with top end-to-end -end web automation tools and Cypress was the winner as well. Handling new tabs or windows in the automated tests represent one of the limitations that Cypress has. In terms of folder project structure, when getting started with Tescafe, you start with an empty folder where you have to manually create the entire framework structure. On the other hand, Cypress creates a generic project structure with the test samples out of the box for you that will be the same on each and every Cypress project. Creating tests in Cypress is really simple. The test runner provides a feature called Selector Playground that generates selectors for you. I personally don't recommend this approach because they are not always the most optimized selectors, but for junior testers who just want to try out test automation would be a good starting point. Last but not least, on the debugging side of things, there is a game-changing feature provided by Cypress called Time Terrible. During the test execution in the test runner, you can expand test scenarios and click any particular test step. It can be an assertion, error, action, and so on. When clicked on, it displays extra information in the DevTool console.
clicking also pins the application under test in the right side of the screen to its previous state when the command is executed. Long story short, for each test step, Cypress takes a DOM snapshot of the app at that point. In terms of assertions, this cafe uses a built-in library. On the other hand, Cypress uses popular Mocha and Chai asserts. These are usually used by the developers in unit tests, hence they will feel like home. So, this is it. Overall, both tools are amazing. So, which framework is the best? The answer is... It depends. Your choice should be the one that fits the best according to your project details and requirements. Does your project use iframes? Do you need to run tests using Safari browser? Is it important for you to run tests in parallel? This kind of answers might help you out. If you like the video, feel free to share it with others and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and happy testing!